What's up? I'm gonna clean some fish live. I don't know why I'm on Facebook Live today, but I just felt like doing it. So, um, if you guys want to learn how to clean a whitefish, if you're squeamish, don't like blood, just turn it off, keep scrolling. You don't want to watch this. So, let's see who's gonna join us to watch a live fish cleaning. Let me grab the fish. Hey Jeremy, yeah, uh, my Laker video, yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm gonna clean a fish live, no pressure. This one's clipped, you can see. Anybody who's watching there, uh, these fish are stocked. Some are natural, but this one was clipped. It's got a right front vent or a pectoral fin. Again, if you're squeamish, please keep scrolling. Do not watch. There's one side there. Like my sweater, eh, Maker? It's my good luck one now. It's so comfy. Thanks again, buddy. I'm trying to watch comments as I'm cutting. the other side. I always look to see what they're eating. So again, if you're squeamish, please don't look. You can see a bunch of gobies in here. I cut his head off, but here you go. I'll show you guys what these fish are eating. You guys can see that right there. I'll put them back together. Here you go. So round gobies, that's why the Meeg's jig is key and very successful out there. Because that's what you get, that's what they're eating, and that's what they want. I don't find any smelts in there anymore like I used to. So let me put this away, and then we can get all the bones out. Ugh. Clean up a bit of this uh, beautiful blood. Again, if you're squeamish, now's the time to come back because there's no more wood. What is up here? Gee, I'm sure you know how to do these, buddy. I'm sure you've done one or two whitefish in your day. So I'm just going to take the bone out, the ribs here. I like electric knife a lot faster, a lot easier. Get all those rib bones out. Cut that, that's all garbage. One or two Iggy, yeah. <laughs> so I get the ribs out first and then I'll just cut the tail. And like this, I can have a little spot to put my finger to pull its skin off. Way there. There's our skin. Nobody needs that. Now, what people don't know is these fish have a Y bone. You feel it right here, right there. All I do is I'll feel it with my hand, then I'll run right on this belly side as close as I can to those ribs, to those uh, Y bones. Like so there's no bones on this side. Now you're just left with that wide bone that kind of faces towards the back of the fish. And I'll just cut an angle. Cut a little V out of there. A little bit of waste, but not really because this is all bones in there. And uh, I don't know about you, but I don't like eating fish with bones in it. And that's it. And the rest is just trimming stuff, which uh, I won't bore you with, but look at that. Why would you go to a grocery store and buy these? These are uh, 
a little bit fresher than the grocery store. A lot tastier. My kids love it. I love it. Beautiful white meat on them. It's all ribs there. Nobody wants that. Maybe the town cat wants it, but not me. There we go. Home some wildlife key. Oh, that'd be fun. Beautiful day to get out there for that man. Wish I could come. Again, get that wide bone out, cut as close as can to the belly side, all along the side of that bone. Just like that. Some guys do this differently, this is the way I do it. Works for me. The goal is to have a boneless fillet, which there it is there. The rest is all trim. Trim all this fat part. And then also too, these fish have some kind of brown on the back. We trim all that, so. There you go, that's it. If you guys want to stick around, I got one more to do. Might as well keep the camera going. So, it's a natural fish here. No fins clipped. Catching a lot of these this year. Again, if you're just joining me, if you're squeamish, do not look. Beautiful fillet there. Another nice fillet. This guy's full, full, full. If you're squeamish, look away. Keep saying that, but I don't want no hate mail after. You've been warned. Look at that. Gobi. That's what they're eating right there. So, that's why Meeks works awesome. Little Meeks Jake there. Looks exactly like that. Same size, same color. Match the hatch. And that's what they're munching on, man. And his stomach is just full of them right now. Full of gobies. There you go. I won't uh, keep dissecting that for you. There you go. Pulled up three. I know there's more in there, but I didn't pull them all out. Look at the size of these gobies. Look at the size of that. There's another one there. So meek size doesn't matter because this is probably your biggest meek size that James sells. They'll eat that, no problem. And then if you go to the smaller size, if they don't want a big meal, they're eating both guys. So don't worry about the size of the meeks, Jake, because it all depends on the day and if they're hungry. But yeah, lake's full of gobies. That's what the whiteys were eating. So I'll end this video. Just so I can finish my job here and then go out to lunch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Alright. Let me wipe my hands. Peace out guys.